Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at um, making a player's footprints make a sound when they when they walk on the floor. So, um, I think you're going to struggle to hear this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my speakers up. Um, so it's not actually going to be direct audio, uh, basically because I can't be asked to set that up right now. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and just make my character walk. So I'm hoping there that uh, I'm hoping that actually comes through on the uh, video there. But basically, um, if it doesn't, we're gonna that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and um, show you how to do it anyway, and it will work for you, so you'll be able to hear it locally. So, what we need to do in this tutorial is it's not actually a blueprint. So we're gonna go ahead again, and oh, oops, we're just gonna go ahead and open up the um, third person blueprint. Now this can be done in first person. I chose to do this in the third person blueprint simply to demonstrate. Um, it was easy to set up to show the feet touching the ground. So it's easy to construct in a third person blueprint. So if I just go into the mannequin here, over to the animation tab, and then go ahead and s open this up bit up here and select the running animation, you'll see that each time his feet touch the ground, it triggers footstep left and footstep right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these and just show you how we created those. So basically, right now, this is a, this is a default third person blueprint template so this is what you'd find if you boot the third third person blueprint um apart from the fact that my girlfriend moved a couple of cubes around and spawned some things over here but you know uh, i'll let her off she was curious about how a real engine worked um so let's go ahead and take a look at actually how we're going to do this so what we're going to need is we're going to need a couple of things um inside my downloads folder I have footstep left and footstep right as mp3. Now what you can do is you can go and find some royalty free footstep left and footstep right. Um, find an online mp3, because usually if you find them online, they're um, a whole uh, a whole clip basically. So it's like footstep left and then footstep right, all in like one thing. You're going to want to go ahead and find an mp3 cut tool, cut that up into two or three things. So but actually, you know what, basically I'll just talk, I'll go through the whole thing with you. So let's just cheat a little and find some uh, footprints. So footprint oh, sound effect so we're going to find that and let's just listen to this okay that's fine so we'll copy that obviously you would find a royalty free one I'm going to go ahead and download that and then we're going to find mp3 cut and I use mp3cut.net open the file and from my downloads folder I'm going to look for walking on concrete which is what I've just downloaded so walking on concrete. Now from the sound waves, you'll see there that we have, if we just listen, so left, right, left, right. So we're gonna basically stop that. Oh, I'll turn that volume off, that could be quite annoying. Trim that down. So we have a left foot left foot step. So we're gonna cut that and we're gonna download that. And we're gonna save it as left one. I'm gonna go back, Oop. Uh, open the file again, concrete. And so we had the first one the first time, so we're going to cut that to there and get in those second files there. Cut that again. Download again as. Um, did I say the left one? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say this is right one. So I have those as MP3 files. Now, unfortunately, Unreal Engine 4 works with WAV files. We're going to go ahead and find an MP3 to WAV converter online. Audio.onlineconvert.com works for me. So we're going to go ahead and choose the file. So we have left one, go ahead, upload that, convert the file, just give this a second. I'm going to skip this process, I've basically shown you how to do that now. Um, once you've converted them to WAV, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and import them. So what I'm going to do is import, import my two WAV ones. So we basically go right click, import to game, and I have footstep left and footstep right, both saved as WAV formats. So I'm going to go ahead and back into my character blueprint, into the mannequin, into animation, find the running animation again. That's walking, running. And what I'm going to then do is just pause this, and I'm going to find the frame where his foot touches the ground. So we've got a foot touching the ground there. You're going to right click on this timeline, add notify, and play sound. Skip along and find the other foot again. Right click, add notify, play sound. So then you're going to want to click on these. And you're going to select a sound file. So we imported um, left. So we have a footstep left. And on this one, we have a footstep right. 
So we can go ahead and save that. And now whenever the character runs, I'll turn the volume up again. You will hear again that the footsteps are uh, the footsteps there are playing. So that's it. Very quick, simple tutorial on how to create footsteps for your character. This does work in uh, first person. Basically anything with a moving mannequin. Uh, so if your arms are moving, you might want to like, catch it when the arm dips down or whatever. But uh, I'll leave that up to you. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment on any tutorials that you want to see in the future.